Uh, one last thing on the tracker, I just want to show over here. It's like, this is what we teach in YHC. It's like, first you choose your journey dates. Then you start tracking the people you should talk to, conversations you've had. And then you'll notice over here, dates of last follow-up, first strategy, second, second, third, like more sessions in our book is not, not bad. Like, it's interesting. Like even though a bunch of the people that signed up for this workshop, I'm like, oh, I've known this person for some people that signed up for this workshop. I've known for 24 years. It's a long time. <laughs> kind of wild. Uh, so we might be on the sixth sales conversation with someone. We're fine with that. That means they're like 90% there. Like they really know that we're not going anywhere. They know they have very strong brand awareness <laughs> by the time we're at the sixth conversation, right? We've been consistent in the same place for a really long time. So a lot of you think it's better to close on like the first or second phone call. I don't. I don't have that. I find that can be more work in onboarding. So it's just pushing the work from one side of the equation in my client relationship to, to the other side, right? If we know that what comes after the sale is the onboarding, we can get done a ton of onboarding before the sale.